and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two, trial number two. We got the seven win with trial number one. Let's run it back. Let's see how we do with trial number two. We already have our prizes locked in where we know we're going to get the seven win uh, prizes. We know we're going to be getting the champion um, capsule instead of just a champion wild card, which is great because uh, not a wild card, but you know, just a random champion. Um and like a gold chest because the champion capsule gets us three rares an epic and a champion but we're still going to do uh trial number two you know just it's on on the docket for the stream here today and you know we can get 1500 xp if we get another seven win trial and uh you know <clears throat> earn more rewards with through the reward program with that extra xp okay we got um we got some interesting choices here. So we could go Braum with Avarosen Sentry, Mighty Poro, you know, get our Poro action going on. Or we go Ezreal with Funsmith and Academy Prodigy. Like that's a that's a good choice too. Or Zed. Zed's a really good uh champion also. We get Deathmark and Deny. Not you know, I don't love the death mark with the Zed, but you know, like the like the Zed makes a living shadow that we can, you know, use the death mark on right away, but none of these like like these are all good choices, but none of them are great choices that like stick out. Not a fan of Ezreal and Expeditions, okay. Okay. The next deck that we're going to be playing, the Elusive Burn is a um is a zed deck so we are going to be playing a zed deck let's see let me open up y'all y'all get to vote let me open up our votes let's see where we're at with our votes all right looks like braum has the most votes right now We go Braum. Braum's a fun one to play that I don't... That's a card that I don't play very often. So sure, we'll do that. A card that I don't play very often. Hmm. All right, maybe back to Garen or Darius. Those were two that we played last time. Or we go Ezreal with Parade Electro Rig. Yeah, Ezreal gets you a Mystic Shot. Thing I, I like Back Alley Barkeep a ton. And this Parade, I wonder how this Parade, you know, goes with Ezreal. You know, like you could sh shuffle four Ezreal copies into your deck that just turn into Mystic Shots. Like that may not be bad. What Braum turns into a Take Heart? Hmm. What do y'all think? Y'all like the Darius pile. Okay. Go Noxion Might. I could do that. We can go Noxion Might. We've had a lot of success with Noxious recently. <clears throat> Alright. We got Poros. I'm gonna I'm gonna raise up this desk. Gonna stand up. I'm tired of sitting down. So we got Poros. Um, if we want to go Poro route. It's not too strong. We've tried it before. It's not too strong. Hopeful and Might. Or what I think is the best choice. Marksman and Bull Elnuk. I think this is the, the best. We could maybe try to find um, try to find Troop of Elnux. All right, yeah, let's go this route. This route. That would be cool. I've I haven't ever drafted Troop of Elnux, but that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> Precious Pet Arachnoid Sentry, so a one drop and a three drop, 
or Averrosen Sentry and Averrosen Averrosen Marksman. I like that. And then Reckoner and Whirling Death. So I like Whirling Death. I do think Sentry is just a great two drop, and Marksman's a great three drop. So you know we can get another two and three. You can tell we do have a lot of twos and threes. Um, I could see just picking up the Whirling Death and the Savage Reckoner just to have like like Whirling Death is just awesome, and then Savage Reckoner gives us a lot of power at the top end in case we don't get as many top end cards. I think we'll do that. Like look at we have zero spells, and we're not we may not have a whole lot of spells. Whirling Death seems like an important one to get. Troop of Elnux. All right, let's let's try to draft Elnux. Let's do it. I don't know how easy it is to draft Elnux, but let's do it. That's something. This is something I never drafted before. Battle Fury is strong. A back alley barkeep and a static shock. Well, I mean, those are good cards, but that puts us into a third color. Rear guard and veteran. I like this. We'll go rear guard veteran. Another four mana, four five. With an ability. And gets us our first one drop. Ugh, where's the Elnux? You only got like three Elnux? <laughs> That was from the start trying to draft all you kid. Yeah, well, yeah, we've, we're only at two right now. I could see us only getting a third. But we'll try it. We'll try it. None of these are, like, jumping out to me. As, like, the thing to take. None of them are, dra are just jumping out to me. What are y'all voting for? Kind of the first or the third. So, you know, Bra Brittle Steel, Frostbite an Enemy, three or less health. It does give me a trick. Marksman. I think the third one's actually my least favorite because we're not really, we're not a Decimate deck, so I really don't like the Decimate. Um, Trifarian and then Noxion Guillotine. I think this is where I actually want to go. Um, Trifarian's, you know, a good three drop in... Noxious Guillotine, if we have like some smaller creatures, it can do some work. And I don't know. It's a removal spell that's difficult to turn on, but go there out. Whirling Death, Shield Breaker. Yes, please. Just gonna take the Whirling Death. Um, you know, we can use some fives and sixes. Whirling Death it is. No, all these all these picks and so little Elnux. So many picks, so little Elnux. All right, well, this one's hard. So I like Saboteur to get us another one drop, and then Brother's Bond is a good card also. I, I like this, this middle one, but honestly, I think we're kind of drafting a Trifarian Assessor deck, right? Like we have... We have the Trifarian, the Basilisk Rider... This veteran could maybe pump up some some stuff. Shield Breaker, Darius, Reckoner. Eh, maybe we don't have that much of an Assessor deck. Maybe I just go Saboteur and Brothers Bond. We do have just tons of units, so like Brothers Bond is just going to be good. All right, I'm gonna I'll go Brothers Bond with a one drop. Ooh. This is an easy pick, if you ask me. The second, this one over here is good. Legion Drummer, Arachnoid Sentry, both really good cards. I don't really want Catalyst today on, but this over here, Omen Hawk, of course, is awesome. But they who endure is real good, especially with us having so many units. We're gonna have a lot of things die. They who endure is gonna be real big, and we also get Omen Hawk, one of the best one drops. It's an easy man. No Elnux. No Elnux. Well, I think we'll just go one drop, three drop. Good cards. Legion Saboteur, Reckless Trifarian. Because we want to get a... 
definitely need to get ahead when you don't have a whole lot of spells. Spells are like the things that catch you up. So if you're if you're going to be playing a lot of creatures, you need to get ahead. So you need to get these ones. I could see playing Icy Yeti, though. Like, I could see going with this middle one and just going Sentry and then Icy Yeti. You know, being able to play this as a bomb later on, Frostbite a bunch of things, get a bunch of attacks in. I think it's one of these two. We already have two Avarosen Sentries. Yeah, Endure is a good win con. Yeah, it's a good win con too. Hmm. I take the cheaper cards. All right, so with this pick, um, I don't really like Unscarred Reaver. I do like Take Heart a lot, but I don't like Unscarred Reaver. So it's card I like, card I don't like. I don't really want Tall Tales or Entreat, so that's that's easy not to take. Rear Guard is good. Reckoner is good. Um, I'll just take the the two good cards. I probably like Take Heart maybe a little bit more than either of them with like our unit to spell ratio, but I just really don't want this Unscarred Reaver. So we're going to take these two. Yeah, Take Heart is very good with Braum, I agree. I agree. I just don't want this Unscarred Reaver. Ooh, this is an easy one. Elnux. All right, we get our second troop. And we also get a Hearthguard. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Everos and Hearthguard. Easy pick. There's another Elnuk. All right, we get another Elnuk, and so it looks like we're taking a Crimson Disciple. I'm just all in on the Elnuks. Uh, someone would be able to trade for an Elnuk. Um, I'm not doing this last trade. They who endure is awesome. I'm not doing that last trade. I don't. I don't really care for Mighty Poro. Um. I don't know if I really care that much for Elixir of Wrath though either. Marksman's pretty good. I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the Marksman. It's you know maybe the middle. Uh, so we got we got four Elnux. All right, so we got two bulls and two troops. We're kind of kind of doing it. I guess I just keep the Mighty Poro. This Elixir of Wrath can be really good with Braum. If I get rid of Mighty Poro, what's our three mana creature situation looking like? I know it says we have eight three draws, so how many are actually creatures? We'll have uh, Marksman, Braum, Mighty Poro, and two Trifarian. So we get rid of one of those, so we'd still have four. Yeah, four three drops is fine. All right. All right, so this this deck's kind of kind of different. Like we're we're going with our noxious aggro stuff, but it's a little different with um, with these Freljord cards. All right, we're attacking turn one. No. All right, pass. We can use like marksman to kill that. So we don't have to trade with it. Count to 
Fiora? That's a problem. That is a problem. Let them eat souls. Try me. I hope I can have Braum kill the Fiora, but it's very unlikely, especially with them knowing about the Braum. I could have... The, the riskier play would be just to simply pass, wait for them to play their thing, and then play the Braum so they have less mana, but like they're going to untap and have all this mana anyway. Hey, Kokiri. Definitely be me dying here real quick. Confine and contain. I do not have anything to deal with this Fiora. This next turn I'll have the Savage Reckoner. Maybe that'll help. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that is true. How this game played out compared to like Magic, where we had a uh, 1 1 versus 2 1 on turn 1 and attack with a 1 1 doesn't tap. Alright, this is like my last chance. Gross. Basically, so Fiora's already killed three things. If Fiora kills one more, they win the game. I have no spells. No spells whatsoever. For the honor of House Laurent, try me. All right, well, it looks like they have a spell. You just gotta believe me! The cold isn't the only danger. That is just lethal anyway. Thanks, Simba. Well, we lost our first one here, but actually, thinking about it, we did lose our first match with the other expedition, too, and then won seven in a row, but I don't feel like our deck is as good. Come on, Elnuk. No, don't trade away my Elnuks. Uh. Oh, this is so tough. They want me to trade away my troop of Elnuks for a Minotaur Reckoner. Minotaur Reckoner is so good. But we're an Elnuk deck. Kind of. Ish. That's four out of thirty. You know, like you only have you only start with thirty cards instead of forty cards. Um. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I think normally that's a good trade, but we already got our seven win thing. We're just going going all in with the Elnux. Okay, let's get this uploaded. The thumbnails done. Let's see. 
replace. Apprentice does look pretty eager to me. Fresh tracks. Gotcha. Eager to leave the battlefield, that is. What would you wish to learn? You'll never see it coming. Think before you strike. Hunted down. They cannot strike what they cannot see. That thing's flying. Or elusive. Ooh, I was expecting twin disciplines to give that plus plus zero plus three. Where there is life, there is hope. Nothing escapes my watch. Well, now I don't, you know, I was planning on not playing this thing and then, you know, playing the Savage Reckoner and, uh, you know, doing that whole thing, but now we're just going to gonna attack on out. Has its cost. Yeah, I like Omenhawk a lot. I like Omenhawk and you know the other one, Averroes and Hearthguard. I like those kind of cards. Those are well designed. You played an 11 11 Garen yesterday? Just like a whole bunch of Om Omenhawks? Did you have. Uh, I guess, did you use, like, the one from... No, I guess if you're playing Omen Hawk, you don't get Ionia also to give the thing plus three, plus three in hand. Where's our Elnux? There's no Elnux here. There's no Elnux. I think I want to go this middle pile. Uh, basically, um, Braum is with Bloodsworn Pledge and Whirling Death, and so that's two spells. And we have seen like with these uh, games, we do need, we just need more spells. And so I'm, like those are both good spells too. So I'm gonna take this middle pile with the spells. 
since there's no Elmux. And the two drop that gives plus one plus one to your top ally on your deck when you play a spell. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, let's put back the Bull Elnuk, put back Elixir of Wrath, and keep these one drops. Hello. Uh, reporting in. Explosives primed. No one's the wiser. I'll do better this time. That's a lot of damage. Attacking for nine already. Turn two. Starlet's here. Yep, that's the name of it. Yep. They're not going to be playing Avalanche, but they could have... Could have Withering Whale, do one damage all their stuff, gain three life. I'm most likely just going with the Trifarian. I will play my part. <clears throat> so they block there, so they just go to two. Shadow. Hey, Sanctuary Tank. Are they who endure is not going to be very big. We haven't we don't have anything die. Next turn's turn five, so they can have eight total mana, so they can't have ruination. So I don't have to worry about ruination. Uh, with that being said, I honestly don't know if it's even, if it's worth it for me to play Braum or not. Doesn't seem like it's necessarily worth it. I think I'll just bank three mana in case. Alright, well, we have a free spot now. A freed up slot. That's not what I was expecting. Is underway. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I agree, BJJ. I, yeah, I love how important combat is in this game. This game is very skill intensive. With combat being a big part of that. Awesome. We're going to pull the Omen Hawk away, of course. All right, two and one. Picking up some wins. Maybe get some Elnux. Elnux. Nope. Ooh. So to get a Whirling Death, we have to get rid of the They Who Endure. Why do they make these trades so hard? Or to get a Brittle Steel, we have to get rid of Basilisk Grider. We can probably do that one. We would still have four other four drops. They're going to do that. Get another spell in here. We get one more win. Then we get an, uh, another champion. Another three cards. Yeah, right there with you, Ariza. This is good. Good song. Troop of Elnox. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Rom is on the job. This is fun, yes? It is easy, see? Shuffle a whole bunch of those in their deck. Stand behind Brom. All right, I'm just going to trade since we don't have anything to do this turn. And maybe we draw a four drop or something to do. Mm, Elixir of Wrath, that would have been good on the Brom. So now the real thing is do I play the Troop of Elnux right away? Or do I play the Hearth Guard first? I'm going to try playing the Hearth Guard first. So those Elnux are even bigger whenever we get them, which hopefully we get them. There's three Elnux left in the deck out of 23, and, you know, we look at 10. Ah, the sweet smell of science. My shield is my good luck. Well, that worked out. I could have done, like, you know, the Whirling Death to kill it. But we just spend one mana instead of three. Save the other two. Added to the bug list. All right, so now we get to look at 10 out of 22 cards. Top card was not an Elnuk. That's good. That's good. Elnox. Yeah. 
We did it. An expedition. Five mana, you get a 3-3, three, three, a 5-6, and a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Immediate surrender. El Nuck. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Five mana, a five six, a four four, and a three three. Ugh, no more Elnux. Come on. All right, so Darius gets a Trifarian Glory Seeker. I like that card. And another Reckoner. Eh. Braum gives us a Take Heart. I like that card. And an Assessor. I think I like that card too. So I like the Braum pile again. Draven gets us a Crowd Favorite. I like that card. And a Reckoner. Eh. Do I really want three Brahms, though? I guess if we have a Brahm in play, then Brahm turns into Take Heart, which is a good spell. So yeah, we'll take the Brahm pile again. Assessor can maybe draw some cards. I do like Take Heart. <clears throat> Brahms and Elma. We'll call this one. All right, get rid of the bull, and we'll keep the others. We don't want the bull because we want to get the bull for free from the troop. No one's the wiser. If we were on the draw, I would be playing the Omen Hawk. In position. Boom. Uh, that's such a good, such a good combo. We had that combo in our last deck. We did that like twice. Pretty great combo. Maybe I shouldn't even play the Omen Hawk. I don't know. So I could have Braum plus Brothers Bond. Well, three mana six five actually feels pretty good. Noxus! Yeah, Hecarim plus Rekindler no, no, is sir. yeah, like that's yeah, that's probably stronger than Elnux, but these Elnux are just like a you know, bunch of commons and uh yeah, I guess the troops are just a bunch of commons also. You know, as opposed to you know champions and whatever Rekindler is, like a rare or whatever. Rare epic, but all right. So that three drop at least. It traded with two cards. You know, it's a two for one. Is it the Who knows? Feed no, no cows. We only had two cows left. Thanks, J-Jack. Delicious challenge. Yep. How do they have so many more cards than us?
I got two more cards than we do. The reason to make this attack is that you have more Vanguard Redeemed that you want to play. So I make the block, they play Vanguard Redeemed, draw a card. I don't think that means I necessarily don't make the block, because I don't think I... I don't think I could really... Even though I know that that's the situation that's going to happen, I don't think I can really do anything about it. Like, I don't think, you know, waiting till the next turn when they just play, when they play it, really works for me. Or they have the Radiant Guardian. They could have that too. For those who cannot. These old eyes still see far and clear. Their deck looks pretty good. I will end this here. I could certainly have a barrier. I just gotta hope not. I stand ready. It looks like they don't. They're not not confident with a block. Hold back the darkness. Do they need our help? But again, it's two for wanting ourselves. Yeah, they got this one. At least it sure looks like that. <laughs> they have a better battlefield right now. And look out for reavers. They have five cards still also. <laughs> Garen's just going to regenerate. I'm looking for something. Hey, thanks for the huge host there, Swim. Welcome, everybody, from Swim's stream. We are currently playing an expedition here where it looks like we're going to be losing this match and going down to three and two. We're trying we try to make an Elnuk deck. We got four Elnuks. Our last match we won because the Elnuks... Last game. This game. This game's just over. We'll just go to the next game. Let's just start. Hey, Pat Frap. Um. So how was Swin's stream? Was he playing any awesome, uh, any awesome new decks and constructed? I saw that. I want this Hearth Guard. I saw that infinite combo. With the puff caps and karma and everything like that the other you know like the other day that deck was crazy run the starter deck noxus with shadow isles okay right after this we got we're gonna be playing uh two decks in ranked we're gonna be going we're gonna be playing elusive burn and war mother's ramp the elusive burn is like the the kinku elusives deck but instead of splashing frel yord for omen hawk and um elixir of iron we're gonna be splashing pnz and playing timo for our other one drop and then playing burn spells you know mystic shot and get excited let's see Let me get rid of these two honestly i should be getting rid of the other five drop also Really shouldn't be starting with three five drops. That egg. Did it move? No, 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 no. 
<laughs> Teemo is kind of hard hard to pull off, but Teemo with Kinku elusives is pretty sweet. Um, or sorry, Kinku Wayfinder. Sorry, with Kinku Wayfinder is pretty sweet. Getting the getting two Teemos in in play at the same time. Well, yeah, why do we draft Braum? Because basically we tried just make, making a, an Elduck deck. You can see, like, so this is our second run. Our first run, we went 7-1. We, we had a Demacia uh, Noxus mid-range deck that was real strong. Um, and so we already got a 7 win. And so, you know, like, we're doing the second trial. So we could we get to, we got to be a little more experimentive. Braum's a card I don't play very often at all and uh so then we just got to experiment with it and try to go l nux and our deck's okay but I, I don't think it's the best i don't think we're getting a seven one with this i wouldn't be you know surprised if we lose from here i'm gonna try to take out ez Timo loses with the one cost recall. Would that make sense to save Timo? Probably not. No way. Because be besides the elusives, the the other thing that deck is about is about um, pumping up your creatures. You know whether that's with oh I guess there's no Omen Hawk anymore. But still you have you have the five mana. Uh, creature that gives plus three plus three. Nothing escapes my watch. I don't know. I don't think I don't think you want to put that card in there. I think I think Teemo is going to kind of be in the deck to just be a one mana elusive creature, but I don't think that protecting Teemo at all costs is going to be necessary because I, I don't have any other puff cap stuff. Um, so I think that it's kind of more of a distraction. Don't blink or you'll miss me. I have too many creatures out now. All right, we're gonna go hearth guard before troop, so we can pump up the other cows, give them plus one plus one. One shot, all skill. All right, yeah, kill, kill something here. I need less creatures in play, so I can get more, more room for Elnux. We got four Elnux, by the way, so it's not like we have like a ton of Elnux. We only have four. We have two troops and two bulls. That's we took every single Elnux we could. And, you know, we never got any in any trades or anything like that. Ooh. Well, that's enticing. Our strength is yours. Let's make those Elnux even bigger. Rude. Light the signal fire. But yeah, so if those of y'all that are newer to the channel, this is what I do uh, every single day. You have to get me out playing of Legends of Runeterra. Uh, starting at 3 o'clock Eastern, which was three and a half hours ago, if you're in a different time zone. You know, like whatever time zone you're in. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. And then, yeah, I usually do the. Ooh, there we go. It's a cow party. Yeah, I usually do the expeditions on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Today's Thursday, so we're getting our last expedition for the week. And then, uh, you know, besides that, just a bunch of ranked. I'm going to be playing a bunch of new brews tomorrow. I got like a, a Karma, a Karma Elnuk deck on the docket. Charge. Yeah, absolutely. We can do donation decks here, J Jack. Uh, for this game, it's just donation decks are just ten dollars, and then I'll play. I will play your deck as long as I have the cards, which I hopefully will have the cards. Ooh. I don't want to go straight to attacks. 
But I also kind of want to play the Savage Reckoner. Has Overwhelm. If I play this Savage Reckoner, they could have um, the Reckoning. I'll just go straight to attacks. I won't, I won't risk it. Spooky Karma, I think, is a pretty strong deck. It's pretty difficult to play. Um, Harsh Winds. Or no, they're not They're not for Eldjord. It's, it's a difficult deck to play, but uh, it has a really good late game. I... The last time I played it, I, I played a Spooky Karma Mirror where actually neither of us could win. And... Drain one. So they're going to go down to one. Unless I draw a burn spell. Or a, or a pump spell. Oh, actually, you don't have time to cast that anyway. But anyway, yeah, like we couldn't, we couldn't actually win. We just went to turn 40 and it was just declared a tie. We both had infinite cards because of karma, putting more karmas into the deck. Um, and... They don't know what they're up against. Hmm. Is Ezreal going to kill me? I served for decades, and you call on me now. <clears throat> and basically neither of us could win. We never, We didn't have cards that could win. So what I th I feel like the deck could use... So after that, I, th I think th what the deck's missing is like one Ledros instead of like the third like Rekindler. I would recommend playing one Ledros in the deck because against the... It does struggle winning games against like the slow decks and against the decks with um, a lot of interaction and a Ledros could help with that. Looks like I should have played the Reckoner. So we know this thing does two. So we're down to ten. The Mystic Shot can do another four damage to me. So down to six. So they just need... Yeah, that's right, J-Jack. Yeah, you told me about that Call of Myth game. I wrote that down. I haven't looked it up yet. Firing. Hey, Snarecrow. Um, pass. Down to four. And they get a bunch more cards with the Rummage. They have a Mushroom Cloud. I can't. I can't imagine we win this. Yeah. Please. Oh wait, so actually we're th we went 3-3. Three, three. Actually. All right, so it looks like I needed to play <clears throat> I needed to play that uh 7 mana overwhelm challenger. Should not have gone straight to attacks. Good to know. Anyway, we got our 7 win. One already, so all good. Champion capsule, three thousand shards. Let's see what we get. I want to, I want to get a Trindomir because I need one more Trindomir for the War Mother's ramp. So Trindomir is the champion that I would like to open. Ah, Garen. Oh, but we got a War Mother's call. We needed a War Mother's call, um, obviously for the War Mother's ramp deck. So perfect. Got upgraded to a rare wild card. Good champion capsule there. All right. So there we go. There's our second expedition. Trying with Brahms and Elnux. Got to three wins. You know, it's uh, didn't feel as powerful or as consistent as some of our other expedition decks that we've been playing recently. Um, but we did have some awesome Elnux turns. You know, a couple of those games that we won just played an Elnux, got some more. And that was pretty sweet. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. You know, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know if you've uh, done anything crazy with Elnux and Draft before in the in the expedition. Um, you know, or if you're, or you know, even with Brom. You know, if you had some success with Brom uh, over there too. 
But uh, that's it here for our second expedition. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.